Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting bringing to episode 15 of Tokyo Mew Mews. New. I forgot new. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. Nice. Sometimes I forget she has like several other siblings, but I love the fact that they were able to get a raised name in there. Oh, dang. You two go, are you okay? I love how in like almost every song that I've heard, they always give Sakura Seiyu like that solo. It is the best thing. <laughs> like, give my queen, give my other best girl the ish, give her that solo. Yay! <laughs> it's so cute. Right? I mean, Jesus.
the fact that they're also showing her parents too. Oh. Goodbye, that's so freaking cute on me. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, didn't the original never share anything on his family either? Because I know we never got to see them. That's the big thing. I mean, and the fact that he's only just said they're nice. Like, ain't that a little suspicious? Oh my god. Oh, you'll find out soon. The fact that they're also playing her so lonely. Oh. No, no. Yeah, we think that's a shortcut. Mm -mm. Oh, huh?
tahu. It's not stupid. <laughs> I mean, does she look like she's scared? You think she gotta even pretend to be scared too? <laughs> Tells me we're getting Mew Aqua today. Once again, the ship. Hmm, ain't that funny. <laughs> the lava. It just looks like a big old ant eater or just a um a golfer. <laughs>
And of course, yeah, of course he's here. <laughs> Stop, it's so cute. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, dang, he just disappeared like it was nothing. Normally, he stays longer, but that also kind of tells you we're getting teasy closer. Mm. I get that, but Punny, Punny's gonna find it. See, at that time, I wouldn't be walking. I'd be running. I'd be like, oh. Dang, soaked it up like it was a dang surgery. <laughs> I'll talk about it when we get home. The special tool we use for later.
What are they doing? Giving a free show after what happened? Okay, I'm not mad at the fact that we're getting a new song and such. I am also happy about the fact that we are getting a moment where they get to sing. I mean, it would be really nice if they continuously do that, but I guess, you know, special occasions. me that was the best pudding episode like hands down like li literally comparing it to like any pudding episode from the original series like yes that was literally the best episode now my biggest thing is like i think I kind of remembered that her mom died, but then at the same time I didn't because that's why I was like, is she at home? I was like, but you know, I mean, it kind of confirmed, it did confirm it. Like, yeah, her mom eventually did pass away because nobody really consensually asked about her mom. So it was either obvious of one or two things. Her mom did pass away due to something or something else. So my money was always on, she passed away and such. But I love the fact that, you know, she still is just like, almost in a way writing letters to her mom even after you know she's gone and even though she's not here she's still here i thought that was really sweet you know them going to the circus and it's the same circus that their parents met and fell in love and eventually had them like oh my god that's just too freaking much but okay i am not also mad at freaking love the fact that because okay this was me going into the fact that we found out that you know tokimi Mimi was going to have an idol group so my biggest thing thinking was, and comparing this to like a lot of other idol groups that I am obsessed with even still now, um, and even K-pop groups that I'm also obsessed with, I was expecting this to, what, I, what I've normally seen is that whoever is the center, the center is the one who always essentially is the one who's singing the most and they get the most screen time. What I like about what they're doing with this group is they're getting everyone a chance to have a song where everyone gets to be in the middle, one. Two, everyone gets to be a portion of a lead and such. So this week was Pudding being a lead and so I'm guessing she was also the one who got this, the first say of singing the song and such. Like I said, ain't mad about the fact that, you know, my best girl Misakuro is getting her solo-esque in like literally almost every song that I've heard. And it now makes me even more excited to listen to specifically her Seiyu's, like, solo songs and stuff. Not gonna lie, I still love everyone else. Heck, even you, Ichigo Seiyu, homegirls in D4DJ. So I get to hear her voice, like, two times, you know, maybe in, like, a week. Even though, um, 
we have not had a unicorn event in a hot minute in my opinion i think we just finished in, in english we just kind of finished and then jp i don't even know where the heck we are but it does make me wonder like eventually when we do get other episodes focusing on the rest of the girls so like next week going into lettuce and then eventually going into zakato once again are we getting even more solo songs on that on that i mean because like it's very similar like okay um, I don't match the Girls under 149. That gives you like two solo songs. Well, officially as of last week with the Nina Focus episode, it gave you a Nina solo episode of a song. I mean, a Nina song that she's done and then her official debut song at the end of the episode, which is sweet. And so I'm hoping that eventually we get to see more of that in the next coming weeks. So, I mean, yeah, I would like to see more solo songs for these girls because they're not only um, advertising themselves together as a whole, they're also advertising themselves as a possible solo artist. Not that I think this group is going to eventually disband, but they eventually, with every other idol group and K-pop group that I have seen in the past, they do, oh hey, here's a group with everyone, and then here's a song featuring the solo. So very excited to see how the rest of that goes but also can we just talk about the fact that the blue knight was there for only like two to five seconds and he he went somewhere hopefully we get context on that next week maybe but i'm not sure about that but other than that guys that is my reaction to you towards episode 15 of tokyo Mimi new if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also, subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Tuesday for episode 16. Bye, guys.